Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all my Dynamis Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post Darkwing Blast, another one of the Draco Slayer supported decks that got more support in the form of Dynamite Power Load, the Draco Slayer. This deck focuses on having different protection effects for the many different Dynamis monsters. You can special summon out into the field and then make use of the many different Dynamis machine monsters to go into some other extra deck play. It's a very interesting deck. The Dynamite Power Load definitely does help with the search power being able to search out more Dynamis Pendulum monsters to use in the deck. It just feels like the Dynamis need just a little bit more support to really be, I would say, a top contender for the Pendulum support variant that is meant to be. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So for our newest addition to the Dynamis deck, I'm running three copies of Dynamite Power Load, the Draco Slayer. With this card in the Pendulum scale, you can target one Draco Slayer or Dynamis card in your other Pendulum zone. Special summon it, you're going to use this effect of Dynamite Power Power load the Draco Slayer once per turn. This is an immensely powerful pendulum scale, just giving you a special summon option. It is a once per turn, but just being able to special summon out another Dynamis monster onto the field can be all you need for that setup on the field if you're limited with some of your extra deck pendulum options, giving you one additional monster on the field thanks to that scale. And with its monster effect, it's always treated as a Dynamis card. And if this card is tributed, you can add one face up Draco Slayer or Dynamis Pendulum monster from your extra deck to your hand, except for Dynamis might power load the draco slayer you can only use this effect once per turn so the pendulum scale i'd say is a little more consistent for the card effect you can tribute it out for one of your other dynamis if you pendulum summon this card out and then just tribute it with your tribute summon that turn giving you another search for another monster and then relying on that for the following turn for more search and setup for some of the other Dynomist cards, I also run three Dynomist Rex from the Pendulum Scale. Once while it's in the Pendulum Zone, you can negate the activated card effect that targets another Dynomist card you control, and then destroy this card. It also says cards as a plural, so if there are multiple targets, you can protect them with this card. And if this card attacks at the end of damage step, you can tribute one other Dynomist monster to activate one of these effects. It can This card can make a second attack on an opponent's monster in a row, and if it attacks a defense monster, inflict battle damage to your opponent, and also shuffle one card for your opponent's hand or at random or their side of the field into the deck and this card gains 100 attack so it's definitely a staple in the deck being a one of for just the consistency of being able to shuffle back cards gaining multiple attacks and then also being able to rely on it for its pendulum protection effect and for some of the other Dynamis monsters, I run three Dynamis Pateran. If another Dynamis card you control be destroyed by Battle Card Effect, you can destroy this card instead. Having a good, you know, common ground with the Pendulum Scales for a good number of the Dynamis cards, just being able to protect them on the field. And when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, you can add one Dynamis card from your deck to your hand. Having 1800 attack makes it a pretty viable monster to attack over some of your opponent's other cards. And just being a level 4 monster, an easy normal summon at that. I also run three three Dynamist Ceratops. Once again, another protection effect for a Dynamist card when it's in the Pendulum Scale. And if all monsters you control are Dynamist monsters and none are Dynamist Ceratops, you can special summon this card from your hand as just another easy special summon. You can have your Veteran be your normal summon and then just Ceratops as the special summon onto the field if you don't control any to begin with. I also run three Dynamist Plesios or Plesios, I believe is how you pronounce it. With this card, all face-up monsters your opponent control lose one heart attack and defense for each Dynamis card you control. So the bigger the Pendulum Summon, the better your consistency for this attack lowering. And once while this card's in your Pendulum Zone, you can negate the activated card effect that targets another Dynamis card you control and destroy it. More protection with this card in the Pendulum Scale, just like your other ones. I also run three Dynamis Stegosaur, another level four option. If another Pendulum Monster you control battles an opponent's monster after a damage calculation, you can destroy that monster. Just another way to get over some pesky monsters you may have on the field with this card. And lastly, for the three ofs, I run three Dynamis Brachion. Once while this card is in your Pendulum Zone, negating the activate effects that targets another Dynamis card. And if you do not control Dynamis Brachion in your monster zone, and your opponent controls a monster that has the highest attack on the field, you can special summon this card from your hands. So this one relies more on just having the highest attack for your opponent to get resources on the field. I do ideally want to run three Dynamist Spinos. I have one of the Majesty Pegasus and one of the Ignis Phoenix as added cards as replacements to work with the Draco Slayer lineup since I only have one copy of Spinos. With this card of another Dynamist, it has the protection scale effect and you can tribute one other Dynamist to make this card either attack your opponent directly this turn or make it have a second attack. It's a level 5 monster with 2500 attack so I would definitely run this card 3 
like I just said, I have some replacements in it since I can only find one copy. Moving on now to the spells, just like with Spinos, I would run three copies of Dynamis Charge. This one is a searcher. When it's activated, add one Dynamis monster from your deck to your hand. And once per turn, if a Dynamis card is added from the field to the extract, you can add one of those cards to your hand. Being able to recycle those cards back to your hand definitely does make it a requirement just so you can keep the Pendulum Summons consistent since you only get one from the extra deck. And I run Dynamic Power Load as the replacement. It's a field spell to protect them and make it so your opponent cannot activate uh, cards or effects when your Dynamis monster you control battles. For some of the more generic spell lineup, for some of our extra deck summons, I run two Ready Fusion and one Instant Fusion. So you have some fusion targets to go into with your extra deck to be able to make use of the extra deck plays. Because along with being able to summon out a bunch of different Dynamis monsters, I would say the extra deck plays are something you'll definitely rely on for some of the bigger boss monsters for you to get out into the deck. Ready Fusion helps being able to have your non-effect monsters be summoned out for you to use. And then having the additional target with your Instant Fusion, depending on what you want to summon out and having both in your hand, meaning you can activate both at the same turn that you open up both of them. For more draw power, I also run two Potted Desires just because we run three ofs for the good majority of all the Dino Miss cards we run. So regardless of what you banish, as long as you don't banish three of a copy of the card, like if you banish three Dynamite Power Load, I would say that's one bad situation, but otherwise you can easily search it with some of your other cards in the deck. And Potted Desires just gets you more hand consistency for the cost of banishing a couple cards and ones that wouldn't be too, too, you know, of a loss if you weren't to draw them to begin with anyway. And I also run one Pot of Riches for the Pendulum Recycle, being able to shuffle three Pendulum Monsters into the deck from your graveyard and or face it from the extra deck and draw two cards. You can activate one Pot of Riches per turn and you cannot special summon the turn you activate this card except Pendulum Summon. So it doesn't really limit you for your special summon either with this card since you do want to Pendulum Summon at least once a turn with this deck. And for the rest of the spells, I just run two Iron Draw. If you control exactly two Machine Effect Monsters and no other monsters, draw two cards for the rest of this turn after this card resolves. You can only special summon once. So once again, just like Potter Riches, the one time you special summon could be your Pendulum Summon if you draw two and get potentially two Dynamis monsters to your hand for you to use. For the rest of the main deck, we'll get to the trap lineup. I am running two Dynamis Rush. You special summon one Dynamis monster from your deck, and if you do, it's unaffected by other cards or effects. Also destroy it during the end phase. You can activate one Dynamis Rush per turn. So you have this card to get out your Dynamite Power Load a little faster onto the field, since it's always treated as a Dynamis card, or any of your other Dynamis monsters onto the field and destroyed. It will go to the extra decks. You can at least summon it back into the following turn if you activate it and summoned it out during your opponent's turn using this card and even if your opponent tries to target this card with a destruction card you can just chain in response and special summon out your dynamis monster and then lastly, for the last trap spot, if you have infinite impermanence, you can run it as just another hand trap option in the deck. But I do have three rivalry of warlords. Each player can only control one type of monster. Send all their face up ones that control the graveyard. The good majority of what we'll play in the main deck is machines. And with the extra deck also, a good majority will be machines. There are some limits for what we'll play. Most of them being just searches, but still, I would say a good majority we can go into being machines. So rivalry of warlords will hurt our opponent more than would actually hurt us in the deck. Back. Moving on now to the extra deck for the Xyz monsters. I have one Majesty Paladin for the search power for our Draco Slayers and Pendulum monsters, one Abyss Dweller, since the monsters for the Dynamists are water, gaining the additional effect of Abyss Dweller, Baguska for more of a defensive Xyz summon, Bahamut Shark because you just need two level four water monsters, and then Totally Awesome to be able to summon out because of it. Same play with Stealth Dragon, just a good destruction card, making use of our water monsters that are Dynamists. And for the bigger Xyz, I also run one Wind-Up Arsenal Zen Mao for the machine option, one Cyber Dragon Nova, and also one Infinity to overlay into it using our machine monsters, and one Divine Arsenal Zeus to overlay on top of them, once again being a machine monster, not limiting us to rivalry for any of these bigger boss monster Xyz plays. Our only uh, Link monster that we run is Beyond the Pendulum for more options for the extra deck to summon out our extra deck monsters via Pendulum Summon and searching other ones for us to add negating the effects of the dynamis cards we have doesn't really you know hurt us too much using this card because we'll just summon them back out anyway and for the fusion monsters i run one dinoster power uh the mighty draco slayer just because our dynamite does count as a 
uh, Draco Slayer monster to use for the fusion summon of uh, this card, along with one other Pendulum monster. And for the rest of the fusions, I run one Cybersaurus for the machine lineup, and also one Rare Fish for the water level four, and one Sea Monster of Theseus, just as an additional level five monster to use for any additional play, whether it be an extra deck summon for our Xyz monster or one just additional resource to go into. And then as for some of the go-to plays in the deck, relying on Dynamite Power Load for the setup, being able to target one Draco Slayer or Dynamis card in your other Pendulum Zone. And Special Summon, it just gives us a resource onto the field to go for. So if we have our Dynamite on the field and additionally one more card in our hand and just limited to the three cards we may have to use, if you have three cards all together for the setup, you can go for the scale setup of your uh, Dynamite power load and then your dynamite ceratops being able to pendulum summon out the one dynamist card in our hand and let's say the other ones are just some of our setup maybe like a hand trap or one of our spells and with that you have the one special summon since it was the only one in our hand you can then use dynamite power load to special summon the other dynamist card in the pendulum zone onto the field if it's the same level that's just an add bonus because then that gives us two machine monsters to overlay into and whether you want to go into your windups and now or the they would say the better one would be the Cyber Dragon Nova to then just go into the Infinity, keeping the Machine Monster on the field and then being able to set the additional card in our hand, whether it be the Field Spell or even just the Rivalry of Warlords. Having that setup gives us just more to use on the following turn for whether we use the Recycle Power with our Graveyard. If we draw into cards like Pot of Riches or more draw additionally with this card, we could have a draw two off of one of those cards and just the additional monsters we add to our hand, being able to perform the same play by setting the scale once again we'll once again make sure it's a scale three having that summon giving us one additional monster for the pendulum summon and then using dynamite again to summon out that additional monster onto the field using our pendulum scale but that is it for the deck profile. I hope you all enjoy the video. It's a pretty awesome deck that just focuses a lot on the machine plays we have. But like I said, maybe if we get some more Dynamis support that solely focuses on the deck and maybe some other extra deck plays, it'll definitely be a pretty good contender for the Pendulum lineup altogether. And as always, until next time, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And Kira Twig out.